Hi, this is James from Stealth, and uh, I'm really excited on behalf of the team here to announce that we have the quantum proof of stake internal test net running along smoothly, producing blocks. We're sending transactions back and forth between nodes. And uh, first, I'm going to introduce you to the test net so you can see what's going on here. The point of the studio is just so that you can see this thing working. Okay, so right now in our test net, we have two nodes. We have T2, indicated by a green label here in this terminal, and T3. So if you see a blue label T3, you know I'm typing commands into node T3, T for test. And if you see green label, I'm typing commands into the node T2. So first thing, let's just check out what's going on with the uh, quantum proof of stake network. That is done with this command, get QPOS info. This network has three stakers on it. Okay, let's look at the stakers first. The first staker is called Stealth Rules. It has an ID of one. It's enabled. The second staker is called Stealth Staker, less creative name. It has an ID of two. The third staker is called Holy Grail. It has an ID of three. Holy Grail is not enabled. So there's only two enabled stakers, so they will take turns minting blocks in a random order. So it's not true turns. They will be flipped every round, because there's only two of them, and one or two may mint a block in that round, and the other one mints it, and then they're flipped again randomly in the next round. So here we see the queue. So in this by random chance, one is going first in this round and two is going second in this round. And uh, how many rounds have there been? Well, there's in, in this network, there's been 1,207 rounds and we're at a block height of 10180. So how many blocks have, have been produced since I typed this command? 10180, let's, let's remember that number. There it is so we can look at it. Nine. So nine times five is 45. So about uh, 45 seconds have transpired since I started talking about the queue. So let's, uh, let's test this network out. First thing we can do is just see what uh, the balance is of this particular node. It's got, it has 2,000. I've done a few transactions which I can just list here, just uh, put this command. I can scroll through them. You can see I've been doing um, successfully higher. 100, 300, 200, 400, and 1,000. Maybe I'll do 10 this time, just for fun. So let's uh, make a new address. We're going to send to this address on this node. Um, you can actually see if this address has any coins in it. One to nine, 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 nine confirmations. And uh, this is how you indicate this. It's very complicated, of course. But, you know, just to show that this, there is no existing, this is an empty set, an empty list of transactions. This address has no transactions in it. So let's send to this guy. We'll use this node. So I, I will preface this by saying that I've been doing a lot of testing with these. The wallets are kind of in bad shape. I probably need to export them and re-import them. So every once in a while, I'll get an error. But if I get an error, I'll just try to send a different amount, and it'll select a different input transaction. Um, and uh, at this point, I haven't been focusing on the state of the wallets. I've been trying to make blocks move, as anybody could probably understand. But that's the disclaimer here. Not everything's going to be working perfectly. Some things imperfectly because of so much testing. Um, send to address. And there, oops. Copied something. Here's the address we want to send to. Okay. 
And let's just do 10. Okay, we'll have to do 100. Maybe that won't work. There we go. So here we have 100. We can look at this transaction here. Now check this out. It's probably already confirmed. Get transactions. Got to go back here. I'm going to type the command. So yeah, it has already two confirmations. So let's list some, let's list on spent here. Well, we got another confirmation already. So I typed, use this exact same command before there were no confirmations and now there are. So this is pretty much what's going on here. Blocks are rolling by. We have 10209 up from whatever we were up from a long time ago uh, when I started the video and when I talk more transactions every five seconds. These transactions are getting, these blocks are getting produced on this network at five second intervals exactly. So when you make a transaction on the stealth network under quantum proof of stake in the future, you will not have to wait for more than five seconds for that confirmation, for that transaction to be confirmed by the network. And when we get uh, the anonymity layer implemented on here, you can make an anonymous transaction and not have to wait for more than five seconds before it's confirmed. And we'll have other features um, that we're adding to quantum proof of stake in order to make those confirmations more, uh, let's say, trustworthy, okay, for layman's terms. But anyway, you know, that's, that's probably enough for this demonstration right now. It works. We're thrilled, and we're moving on. We're going to be testing this, and once we get a few more tests done, um, we're going to uh, move on to the next phase of testnet, which means we're going to have... Um, public code availability, people can join the net, the test net, we'll send them some coins and they can register some stakers and we'll see how it goes from there. We'll, we'll be making this, this thing work better and we're working towards mainnet. All right, I'll talk to you later. I'm getting back to work.